test your skills against Charles itself. Hey guys, welcome to What's on Linux. Today I'm taking a look at a game I have loved since it was an early access called Hand of Fate. This is an awesome, awesome little game created by Defiant Development using Unity Engine. Now I've tried playing this with a gamepad. Gamepad doesn't work. Gonna put a bug report in, hopefully they can get that fixed because it's really a type of game that would be great to use with a gamepad. But for now, this is Hand of Fate. This game can best be described, at least by me, as a deck building, dungeon crawling action RPG. Doesn't make a lot of sense just from that description, does it? Well, let's jump in and we'll take a look at certain things. First, actually, let's take a look at some settings. Now you've got all the normal audio settings, change your sound effects levels, change your music levels. As you can see, it works pretty well. Subtitles on or off, and voice on or off. Voice mainly is the guy who is talking to you up there. Now, I am playing this at 1920 by 1080, 1080p. Resolution always seems to reset itself. For, I don't know why. I just pressed something and now everything's screwed up. Okay, give me a minute to get this back to normal. I don't know why it does this. This is a pain in the butt. Have to go through each individual setting, let it cycle through until you get back to where you need to be. As you can see, it's just stretching my display right now. And it looks absolutely horrible. I don't know why developers want to do it this way. Sometimes they do, sometimes they do it the right way of giving me a drop down and letting me pick the resolution. Really guys, you've got to get better at this. I shouldn't have to go through every single resolution before 1080p in order to get back to 1080p. There we go. We can set that to beautiful or fantastic all the way up. Bring it down to simple and fast. Or fastest. It's not going to go higher than 60 FPS anyway, so I might as well bring it all the way up to fantastic. Language. Change your language. I'm not going to change that because it will screw everything up. And you can reset progress. I am actually going to do that to show you from the beginning. This is the start screen. Ah, one more for the game. Come, sit. You have passed the 13 gates. And you come to my table to play the game of life and death. Your stake is wagered. I refuse none who come here, yet I say, turn back. Nice little graphical glitch there. Cinematic wise, this is an absolutely amazing looking game. It really is. It looks absolutely awesome. The game begins. One no. lives and one dies. So this is kind of the Let's tutorial area know. where it brings you through how the card game works. The Jack of Dust. Here is the first member of my court. The Jack of Dust. Now the point is you're trying to beat the deck master there. Me. By playing your cards and playing a little action sequence as yourself. Killing things on the way. You die based on how well you do in those battles. If you die in the battle your game is over. You're done. That's it. Restart from the beginning. If you win, you usually get some kind of reward, either gold or an item that will help you carry on. So, now he shuffles and deals out all the cards. He gets a whole bunch, and these are the cards that I have access to. In my different decks. Let the cards fall where they may. Now, I get we begin. an equipment deck right here. I can't access it unless I get to a point that lets me access it and I can't remember which one this is I think this is my encounter deck so you just pick a card 
Mr. Lionel. I was never a fan of illusion or pretense. Here, I'll make an exception. Okay. Who is Mr. Lionel? You click on the card and it comes up. Whilst enjoying your evening meal at the local tavern, a strange old man takes a seat next to yours. He taps your shoulder quite painfully with his wooden staff to get your attention, and you notice that he appears to be a goblin, poorly disguised as a human. His wizened face grins up at you with a hint of madness. My name is Mr. Lionel. If you give me what I need, boy, I will conjure up your heart's desire with his wizarding wand of my own creation. Alright, well... He cackles uncontrollably for a few minutes, then sits patiently waiting for your answer. Give him bread or ask him what he needs. I'm going to ask him what he needs. Need, I need to help you. Sir Lionel taps his staff on the ground and a shield materializes at your feet. There we go. I have a shield now. That's pretty cool. I got a shield card. I cannot expect you to get by without some protection. Press Q key to reflect projectiles. Look for the green indicator above the hero's head. Press Q to counter. When something's coming you in, can now it's great. reflect your opponent's ranged attacks using your shield. That's pretty Make cool. Make good use of this skill if you wish to survive. Yes, I will. And then you just continue on to the next encounter. And there's always an encounter. That first moment. As you can see, my food here keeps weapon. sticking down every time the I take a step. To action to adventure. Okay, to Twisted Canyon. Let's take a look at it here. Like it. Weapon glinting in the sunlight, lying next to a skeleton at the bottom of a canyon. Do I want to climb down to retrieve it or leave it? I'm going to climb down to retrieve the weapon. Now, I have to pick a success card. If I get a failure card, something bad Choose happens to me. Options. Let's go here. Huh? Oh, of course. I got the failure. Going to make your way down the cliff face to soon slip and painfully fall into the rocks below. The, healer, the dealer draws one health pain card. Lose five health. Oh, well, it could have been a lot worse. Could have been a lot worse. Draw one weapon card. Oh, I will. An axe. Oh boy. Does 25 damage. I can equip it instead of my rusty axe. Yes, let's equip a that. A moment to savor. That will make you much more. Now, down here. Take a look at your inventory here. You can this always is you. review your cards here. There's not much going on there. Got artifacts and all that fun stuff. You don't have an item equipped for this slot. Inventory, artifacts. I already have my shield and sword, and it's not showing me everything, anything else that I have equipped. Well, it used to show everything that I had equipped. I'm not sure if that's just because I only have a little bit to choose from or not, but... Whatever, let's continue on and see what happens. Fair Merith. The Maiden. I'm not surprised to find that this encounter remains vivid in your memories. Yep. The Maiden. One day in a shabby forest, you encounter an elf maiden. She stops to greet you. I am Merith of the Forest Folk. My people have long helped the mortals of this realm. What boon would you ask of me? Longer life, supplies, or gold? Let's get some gold. Dealer draws three gold gain cards. I get 15 gold? Good. I'm sure you are grateful for that. Another 40. Awesome. 55 gold. Another 25. I got 80 gold so far. Continue on. Now, let's see what's this. I'm going Every up the stairs. Take consumes food, but you will also heal as you proceed. Yes. Take the stairs. Next leg of your adventure. And You're here we go. More encounter cards. Simple map. Your let's see what we got here. here for you. A winding trail. If you defeat me, well, Dealer draws one monster card. I'm going against two of losses. dust here. Let us see what you'll make. Attack the cowardly band for daring to threaten you. Give them all your gold. We're attacking the band. And now this is how the battle starts. See, I've got the two of dust. Okay, being a little slow loading. There we go. Loads in the map. That's my encounter card. That's where I come out of. And there's the two of dust. So two dust warriors pop up. You can now counter your opponent's yes. attacks. Hit the counter button. I when can you move, see the stun, attack, indicator. dodge roll, and counter. Very important to dodge roll. I don't know what's going on with that. I think my.
And all you want to do is constantly be hitting them. There we go. I just won the encounter. Now, I think my controller, as I was trying to use it before, is kind of messing up my game here. So it might screw things up for me a little bit as I go. We'll see. Healer draws three gain cards, so I get to draw one equipment. A sword. The most fundamental symbol of might for an age. Uh, no, I'm not really? going to equip the sword. Is that what you're going to do? I gain ten food, which is always nice to have, and three more food. So, gain cards are nice. Traveling Tinker. The shady grove off the beaten trail, you find a traveling merchant looking to trade with wandering adventurers. Approach the shop. Now, the shop happens much like the encounter. It loads up a map, plus pretty graphics. All that gold, you now have your answer. And here you go. We're starting to get into the meat of the game now. The back and forth between resources and rewards. You can buy items, sell items, and buy food. If I sell items, I can sell that sword that I got. Great men wield great swords. Yes. Swords of myth. I'm gonna keep the axe though. For you, and this keep the shield. Suffice. Back, back. Buy items. I can get a healing cap. Any healing that the player receives is doubled. An explorer's helmet. A small reveals stairs. Encounter upon still. entering a level and grants gold bonus for revealing every encounter on that level. Where'd my mouse go? There it is. Interesting choice. Okay, apparently I bought that because my mouse disappeared. So there does seem to be some bugs happening in this. Oh, we can get the artifact as well, which is always good. A classical approach to dealing with crowd. Artifacts provide powerful special abilities to use in combat. But and I do want to leave the to shop. Yes. Them. Artifacts are pretty cool. They give you special abilities. Like, uh, let's see if we can show you here. Damocles. During combat, press 2 to throw knives in 8 cardinal directions. So, works out pretty well. There does seem to be a few bugs with this. With actually showing inventory. But that's okay. I'll continue on here to Dead Man's Gorge. I'm sure it's not called Dead Man's Gorge without reason. Draw one monster card. That's it. Another two of dust. So again, I'm going to be fighting the two dust thieves or whatever they're called. But hopefully I'll be able to show off this Damocles artifact that I have. And as you can see, all the equipment you get comes on one at a time through cards. Yes, two for artifact. And there we go. Counter moves. Counter anytime you can. There we go. Didn't get a chance to show you Damocles. Because it just finished charging when I killed him. That's okay though. Once I go up against the Jack of Dust, you'll be able to see it. Dealer draws you three gain cards. Draw one equipment. There we go. I got another shield. I don't need that though. A strong left arm is as important as a strong right arm. I don't need to all. equip that. Gain supplies. And more food. Okay. Don't really need all that food on this early one. You have reached my first champion. Yes, your first champion. The Jack of Dust. A good man driven to madness by a war that took all from him. Wife and child. Kith now, here we go. From such dark tokens. Lion, I if you beat him, tools. you get tokens. Now we see your By getting tokens, you end up being able to unlock extra cards. So anytime you get a chance to unlock tokens, you gotta try and unlock them. Because I will show you at the end of it how those cards come into play. How you can buy other cards. So, four of dust as well as the jack of dust I have to fight. As you can see, the art style in this game is quite gorgeous. On Linux, though, there still are some graphical some glitches, attacks, which is unfortunate. Locks or Get out of the way, or stop them with your own counter. 
Oop. And there's Damocles. Knives. And dodge roll. Dodge roll. Controls are not very responsive on Linux, I must say. They used to be a lot more responsive in early access, which is a little strange. Come on, dodge roll. Work. Dodge roll. There we go. And hit him again. Dodge roll. Nope. I missed the dodge roll. There we go. Then you go and collect the card. And that ends the match. And that ends the first stage or level in Hand of Fate. Down into the worms with him. Perhaps there is peace for him in the grave, poor soul. And now it'll unlock the next One card. One champion has been sent to the cabinet. And I got Yet my... Yet we are only at the start of our road. Okay, you let's unlock some more, more cards here. What do I get? Your strength, okay, your memories, Jack of Skulls. Your Dead if King's Hall. First hurdle, none reach the last. What is that? Local peasant? We have wagered. Devil's Choice. River. You may Captain of the Guards. Rewards. Yet I will also claim All mine. All right, let's... Open that one. Prove, so do I. Ooh, equipment. I get medium armor. Chains of Rage. Retained. Mercenary Contract. Medium armor. Fortitude's Breath. Desperate Measures. And now we get into the deck building portion of the game. More encounters. Let's see, Bandit Attack. Maze of Traps. And Goblins. Now, when you have these tokens, those are always good cards to put in your deck. Shall we deal again? Yes, ah, I just to show now you the deck building part. We can begin in earnest. You Your jump into story mode. Turn to his beginning items. Eventually, Our you unlock endless Welcome mode, which lets you just keep playing. It's, it's pretty fun. My court. So there's the Jack of Skulls, which is the next one. So well, I have to jump into that one. Time we'll select that, my and I need to go army. into deck builder. See, the you need to Jack have skulls. No, I'm going to build a deck. Okay, so equipment. You need to have 12 equipment cards. Fortitude's Breath is a shield, and Chains of Rage is armor. I'm going to grab some medium armor. And I'm going to toss a sword and toss a shield. So I can get desperate measures. And toss that axe. I have three weapons, one armor, two shields, three shields. Oh. Okay, I want to get Mercenary Contract, Medium Armor. So now I have two armor choices, two shield choices, sorry, three armor choices, two shield choices, and two weapon choices. It's a pretty good deck there. And now Encounters. These are locked Encounters, so they have to be in your deck. You can't change them out. You can't do any of that. I can get rid of a few of these, and I can add in things like Dead King's Hall. Local Peasant and Devil's Choice, which is another fun option. And instead of Dead Man's Gorge, we'll get the River, because it gives me a chance to earn tokens. See, so now I have, I've built my equipment deck and i built my encounters deck. And now I can jump in and start the game. I we won't play through all this one on video. Deck. We'll get through a How few of them just so it can be... Interesting. You can see some more interesting things, hopefully. Oh, I'm just going to see if I can disable the gamepad. Gamepad says disabled. Okay, why isn't it working? We will disable the gamepad. Hopefully it will stay disabled. Let's move on. That Logitech gamepad does not seem to want to work Faithful very well right now. Death. Prepare yourself. Yes, so we jump on to the first encounter and I have the Maiden again. Okay, so I encountered the Elf Maiden. And again, I'm going to ask for gold. 15 gold. 
25 gold. 25 gold. Okay, 65 gold. That's not a bad start. It's a good amount of gold to start with. Next card, Twisted Canyon. It lives in every game. Okay, so but I have the weapon. Let's climb down and retrieve it. I have See if I can get a success this time. My days. And the canyon has been there. And let's go here. Success. Good. Very carefully, make your way down to the bottom of the canyon. Draw one weapon card. Going through until I get a weapon. And I get a sword. Okay, let's equip that sword. Moving on to the next one. Captain of the Guards. Now, I this is a unique encounter. Avoid the problems of others. Where I'm probably going to get some equipment out of it. Concerns. Here, a shout ahead in the sounds of battle. Racing forwards, you discover a warrior surrounded by undead. Two, two of skulls. He calls out, throws a weapon to you. Take my mace and put an end to these monstrosities. Mace. It's a lump Left of mouse button to strike enemies. It has a holy enhancement to it. So I do extra damage to undead. Which is very nice and very useful going up against the undead. Yes, I will equip the mace. Now, I don't have a shield yet. I did not get that in my equipment. Which means I will be facing four skeletons with just the mace and having to dodge. And come on, get up there. There we go. Skeletons are down. Yeah, they really got to sort out this gamepad problem on Linux. That is a minor issue. It's an annoyance for sure right now. Uh, I was really hoping they would have it fixed for release. It looks like they haven't had it fixed. There's a few things that need to be fixed up the on the Linux yours. release. Well done. Thank you for the token. So that'll unlock some extra cards for me in the end. Stairs. I'm going up Down already. Once more, seeking the heart of it all. Let's go. Many have reached this far. Further. Yeah. What's this fact. encounter? Traveling I do not mage. Know if you have what it takes to do better than they did. Okay. Let's approach the shop. Greetings, wise traveler. I have much offer you. And now you can click through to get through all of this opening animation stuff. If you don't like it, you can just click and it happens faster. See? No big problem. Buy food. Yes, I need food. Buy a couple of those. Let's take a look at some items. There's Damocles. Dragon Ring. Well, all dragon relics are equipped. See, plus 50% max health and full healing after every combat. I don't have that. So I'm going to take double damage from the player's attacks. I'm not going against the Lizard Man right now. Each strike inflicts a curse, slowing and weakening your opponent. That could be good. 33 value. Let's get that. It's not enough that you kill them. You'll curse them too. Yes, I will. And let's see about selling some items. No, I'm going to keep... Actually, I'm going to sell the sword. Because I don't really need the sword anymore. I have the mace, which is perfectly fine. Okay. And moving on to the next encounter. We have the river. Alright, this is another success failure state. Many things. So we attempt to cross the river. Though, I can get a, a huge success, regular success, or a failure. If I get a huge success, then I get that token as well. Let's go here. Regular success. Okay. Light armor makes the crossing relatively easy. You reach the other side, cold, wet, but unharmed. I don't get the token out of it, though. Which means there's less cards I get to choose from next time. Oh, maze of traps. Cave, this is a fun one. Traps and the hope of treasure. It's all I could ask for and more. Let's give it a try. So, this quite literally is a bunch of traps. No fighting, 
No need to hit anything. Now we begin to raise the stakes. The arena and this is going to be a fight quite the pain with Beware this problem the here. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, that was close. That was close. I can't help but take damage because of how screwed up the controls are. This really needs to be fixed. This really does need to be fixed. But I made it to the chest, and I have 30 health left to show for it. That was horrible. That was horrible. So now this controller issue is even more of an annoyance. And now it seems to have locked up. Okay, so now we've encountered a game-breaking bug. The chest doesn't want to open. Controls are buggered. As great as this was during early access, guys, I've got to say right now, until they fix some problems, I would hold off on buying this for the Linux release. It's a great concept. It's a lot of fun to play, but since the supposed 1.0 release, it's broken where it was working fine before in early access. I don't understand what happened in this, but it's really just broken at the moment. So as good as this game is, as much as I would love to recommend it, because I had a lot of fun with it early on in early access, wait until they fix those bugs, all right? Just wait until they fix those bugs. And I will keep an eye on the description in this video once things are fixed and working for me, I will post and let you know. Because otherwise, it's a great game. 20 bucks on Steam. Or your equivalent, your regional equivalent, whatever that is. I'm in Canada, so it's 20 bucks for me. Uh, if you guys like this video, please do like this video. Feel free to share it among your friends. But until next time, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye.